This video is sponsored by Squarespace, but I'll tell you more about them later. Hi, I'm Jono, and if you're new here, I do pencil drawings. So I'm telling the story of what happened at the end of last year. Yes. No, no, yes. sorry. So I'm just, I'm, I'm shaking my head because it still feels unbelievable to me that, oh, that, right. it, that it even happened, you know? <laughs> I've never been so stressed for a drawing as I was for this one. So where should I begin? Let's, let's start pre-DM. It was the final day of the year for us. We were going on break for three weeks. And we thought like, cool, let's get all the work done early on in the week. And by the end of the week, we'll be able to relax. So come Thursday, it's going to be a relaxed day. We can go out for drinks and just like wrap the year up. It was a complete shit show. And eventually we just called it. We just drew a line. We we're like, nothing we do now is going to make a difference. Let's just go on leave. I, I could feel my body was like caught up in a knot from the pressure or from like trying to trying to get everything done for the end of the year. And then I think I had quite a nice day off. And that evening, scrolling through Instagram, I saw a message from Alicia Keys and I was like, OK, that's probably a fake account. And then I went and looked and it was a couple million followers, which seemed insane. And I was just like, OK. And I read the message a couple times and it said, hey, it's Alicia. I, I like that she needs to say it. Yeah. She needs to say, hey, it's Alicia. Yeah. This is not a scam. People must think yeah. it's a scam all the time. Hey, it's Alicia. I have a fresh idea. Hit me back. And I was just like, oh, wow. So then I walked back into the room. My partner was there and I was just kind of like, I just got a message from Alicia Keys. And she was like, no, you didn't. What? Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? And I was like, I just got a DM from Alicia Keys. What, what were you thinking she was going to propose? Primarily, it was in like the scam space. She sent through a video saying like she's got this idea for the holiday masquerade ball where she wants to do like a live stream event. And that just like set the cogs in motion. It was a whirlwind of organizing. And then it was like, hey, cool. Can you get this drawing done for us by Sunday? That was on Friday. They were like, hey, can you do a drawing for us by Sunday and film it and edit it and send it back to us? How long does a drawing usually take, John? So two, two months. <laughs> so two months. And I had to tell them that. I was like, yes, I can do that. And then they're like, actually, it would Saturday work? And I was like, listen, guys, it's two months. It usually takes two months to <laughs> finish is, a drawing. This is, this is not your grandmother's sketch. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. Was there any question in your brain about whether you were going to do it or not? There was a little bit because I was exhausted. Family from Australia were visiting and I hadn't seen them in ages. They were literally just like, you know, you got to do this, so go for it. And it meant that I just didn't see them for a couple of days. And what's crazy is that I needed to scrub through, find a frame within the performance and draw that frame. But it's very different when you're looking for a reference shoot and you have control over the lighting and you can make the lighting dramatic. Whereas someone performing on stage, it's like you're blasted with light. It's not like artistically lit. I think this was like quite a, a great case study for the power of stress. A lot of us tend to wait until the last minute and then we produce something. There's this crazy sense of adrenaline. And I think that I tapped into whatever energy that is in a big way for, for this drawing. Because of a sense of urgency, you work more intuitively. You have to just grasp at whatever comes to you. The downside though, is it's not sustainable in any way. I knew it was a short stint, so I knew that it was gonna to come to an end. It wasn't like I was trying to keep this and make it sustainable. I think the first day was spent trying to find the perfect frame to draw, something that would lend itself to pencil, and then to try and just add my own touch to it as well, which usually takes like a ton of thought. So the first 24 hours trying to find that frame, and then simultaneously without knowing what the frame is, trying to find a concept that would be interesting. So I then just started making molds of my partner's face to try and superimpose over Alicia's face and like have plants growing out of it and like that whole idea was born from this necessity which has then turned into like a whole series of drawings which I've, I've started to explore. Pressure makes diamonds I guess. It does yeah mm. definitely mm. and I think I only had a day to actually do the drawing. There was like a, a very very high level of stress. It was large movements first. I wanted to try and get like the larger image done very very quickly to see like how it would look and if it was viable. Then only at the very end go into the details. The issues actually ten ended up being like the softer things, so like the the shadows and her ear and her clothes. Those ended up being a lot harder because there's there's subtlety and there's motion blur in video footage. So it's video footage that I was referencing. It was also I was working with charcoal, which was a medium that I wasn't confident with either. I think. I I was just really into charcoal at the time. So everything I was doing, I really wanted to do it with charcoal. Maybe you're a masochist. <laughs> I am a masochist. If I look back on that, that was maybe a bit silly. 
what was it like adding your own element to it, the cracks and the... And the yeah, that was super fun. Mm. That was so nice. Mm. That was definitely the part I enjoyed the most. It was scary though, because I'd done all this work and then there was something that I was doing that I didn't really feel that confident with either. So it was a, a novel texture that I hadn't really explored that comprehensively, but I felt like it added a lot to it. So I was, I was really happy with how it came out. And I remember a really tough part of the drawing process was the diamonds on her face because they are distorted and it's shadows on her skin and stuff. Yeah, it was crazy. So fortunately that, that texture got problem solved pretty quickly. So I managed to find like a, a solution to that. And that actually became like a bit of a, a saving grace for me because it was something that I thought would take a very long time and it ended up being like relatively quick. It was weird, the, the things that were that were troubling were really not the the usual suspects. It was like the, the subtleties that, that messed me up. And that's often the same hole that I often advise people not to fall into. Did you find that you had to set up, like draw a line under the sand with it? It's a tough one. I think I was particularly concerned because it looked like this was going to be on a massive stage. So I really wanted to represent myself in the best way possible. But at the same time, the stress was crazy. So I was really, really, really burnt out. And that any mark I make from here onwards probably won't add to the artwork. When I realized I started working against myself, I was like, cool, let's draw a line here. My creativity comes out in moments of extreme stress. So when I, I have to problem solve, then that's like quite a creative act for me. So that was, that was, I was quite grateful for that opportunity. Were you ever concerned that you weren't gonna, you weren't gonna finish it in time? Yeah, definitely. At, where, at what point? At all points of the thing, I had a, like a voice in the back of my head, which was just cracking this whip, like, you've gotta, you've, you've gotta make this. And that was just the motivation. It was just non-negotiable for you. Yeah. Yeah. Drawing gets sent, video gets sent. Did you just collapse? Yeah. I think I, I slept solidly for, I don't know how long, but it was just like this, you know, when you, when you tense your body up really, really tightly and then you relax, it's like a deeper relaxation that you go into. The contrast was actually really nice. Mm. It felt like I like really exercised this, I don't know what you call it, but there's like this energy well or something. Then being able to relax, let that go, spend time with my family. Now that you've been able to reflect on it, are you happy about the way that it all went? I'm really happy about it. I'm excited to send the artwork to Alicia and see what she, she says. I hope she's available to receive it. It was like quite a mad scramble and I think they had a few other artists so they wanted to have these live interactions with these artists from around the world, which was a very cool idea. I don't think that the, the time frame worked for those other artists. And so the final result wasn't quite what I thought it was going to be. We didn't end up in the live stream or the, the main event, which was a bit sad for me. But Alicia still shared the short format content on, on her page, which was really huge and that meant a lot to me. And then also just the opportunity to work with like someone in that sphere is insane. I think that moment of stress helped galvanize an idea that I'd been wanting to explore for a while. And I felt like, cool, we can use this moment to really like flesh that out. And it also, it gave me like the impetus and the energy to do the work. Cause that's also quite difficult is you can have ideas floating around, but you don't really have an excuse to get it done, you know? I th yeah, I think that that is really important and it's, and it's great to have those moments. I think also don't push yourself so far creatively. Cause I mean, I think that's something, especially with these like big, long projects that you work on, like it can be very easy to burn yourself out in the yeah. pursuit of creation, you know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've just had a week like that now mm, yeah. where it was pushing into the red quite actively to try and get things done. It's weird. It, it lends itself so well to burnout. It's just an intensity. It's an intense task, mm. an intense process. Which has its benefits, but also has its downsides. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, before in this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to the video sponsor Squarespace. I've been working with them for a couple of years now and they've played a huge role in my career, not only in sponsoring these videos and helping me maintain this channel. Early on in my career, I was looking for a way to showcase my work and make it easy for collectors to find me and get in touch with me. And I felt that Squarespace did that effortlessly. I never had to patch or upgrade anything. I could register a domain with them and set up an online store. And most importantly, I could design a portfolio and show my work the way that I wanted to. Also, every time I got stuck, their amazing support team helped me out instantly. If you're looking at building a website, give Squarespace a try. And if you decide that you love them, use the software code and get 10% off your first purchase. Cool. I hope you guys found this story a little bit interesting and not stressful. Um, yeah. Thanks for the support. See you guys in the next one. Bye.